What's happening everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a front license plate mount on your 02 to 08 Dodge Ram 1500 and 03 to 09 Dodge Ram 25 and 3500s. Uh, so I got this vehicle in Wisconsin. I live in Minnesota. It did not come with a bracket or a license plate on it. So we're going to be installing this today. I will put a product link in the description where you can purchase this. Um, not too bad. It's about 15 bucks, something like that. I can't remember somewhere in the 10 to 20 range. Um, so we're gonna need some additional uh, parts for this as well and a screwdriver. So you can see your front bumper should have these two square holes in it. I'm gonna show you what you need. Okay, first step, you're gonna want a set of these um, quarter inch number 14 nylon nuts. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these as well. As you can see, they just kind of clip into those square holes on the front bumper and that's going to allow us to use a screw to mount the license plate mount. So very easy, just come back to the front bumper, take your clips, push in until you hear it click, do the same for the second one. Now since these are quarter inch, that means that's how big the uh, distance is from here to here of the square portion uh, of the clip. The number 14 is what size screw you're going to use. This is a number 14 um, it's, you know, a little bit under a quarter inch in diameter. I'll post a link in the description where you can get these as well. We're going to need two number 14 screws and depending on what style head they have on them, you're going to need that particular screwdriver. In this case, I need a Phillips head. Apologies for the wind noise, by the way, we've had pretty crappy weather here lately. So just bear with me. Um, we're going to take the bracket now and you'll see that an upper portion of it uh, is a little bit thicker. We're going to actually want to rotate this down, so like that, and it'll conform to the front bumper and the lower front uh, valance. Now you should have <coughs> your two upper holes on the bracket lined up with your uh, mounting screws, as you can see. Now if these holes are a little bit too big uh, for your comfort and you think that the heads are going to pull through, you can put some washers on here, which I will also put a link in the description for. Okay, so in this case, I ended up getting two different style of quarter inch washers. Um, they're both the same inner diameter quarter inch. These ones are just smaller outer diameter than these uh, because I wasn't sure if the big ones would fit in this square, but they do. So I'm going to go ahead and I made sure the head fits in the hole well. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and install both screws with washers onto the bumper. Get one of them started and then start the other one. Now you want to watch as it tightens up, make sure it's even across here like so. And you also want to make sure it's uh, curving properly around the bumper and the valance, not getting hung up on anything. Make sure it's even centered and give both screws just the final snug. Um, again, just keep in mind, they thread into plastic. So obviously you want this to be secure, but you shouldn't be using probably full strength on it. Something like that. It's about as uh, secure as they're gonna get. Uh, so now we'll take the license plate and you'll see there's two tabs on here. You're gonna fish the license plate up, tuck it into those tabs, and then put two screws in the bottom. Now again to mount the plate, I'm using Phillips head screws. Um, for this, the holes are already there. Um, you can use a number 10 or a number 12. I'm using 12s. I'll put product link in the description for both of those as well. So just like I said, we're gonna go ahead, make sure the plate is obviously facing the right direction. Tuck it up into those tabs. It may or may not hold it for you. Mine did. As you can see, I have to move mine over a little bit. Let's get it started. And the second one. Now, if you really wanted to, you could probably ram some screws into those as well. Just keep in mind, um, you're gonna have to drill holes. There's not pre-drilled holes there. And uh, keep in mind, you gotta use a shorter screw because uh, the bumper's behind it. <coughs> so it'll poke into that. We just go ahead and snug these up. Again, it just threads in the plastic. You don't need to do anything too tight. And you are done. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. 
Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Make sure to hit the bell notification button and check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching.